Hey, welcome back to Dub's Garage. I decided to take a little break and do some mechanical work. This is the Mustang 66 uh, Mustang rear axle. It's a seven and a quarter inch uh, uh, rear end, so it's not a nine inch. I mean, it kind of goes together similar, but all the pinions and everything are accessed from the back. So I'm gonna do some disassembly and stuff and show you how bad it really was. Okay, I can't wait to stand it any longer. I want to see what the inside of this thing looks like. So I didn't do it without you guys. It, uh, taking that off. And yay, it had oil in it. Well, just because it had oil in it doesn't mean it was any good. That thing was full of sludge. So I'm not sure how it got all in there, but it's not magnetic. It's, it's dirt and grimy stuff. So... Anyway, we're getting it cleaned up. Okay, just a shot of the of the brakes. I'm getting ready to take them all apart and uh, pull the axle shafts. But to get this shaft out, the uh, I didn't realize it, but the bearings are... Uh, I've always worked on Chevys. Uh, the bearings are pressed onto the axle shaft instead of uh, inside the axle housing so I had to uh, just get a block of wood and a hammer and just come back and just tap it back and I finally it came out pretty easy after that so I got it and I got it out so um, there's a collar on here I've got some pretty good wear on there so bearing doesn't seem too bad so we might be able to reuse that bearing. I don't know, it's 54 years old, so we may just get new bearings. It's just dirty as heck. Uh, we'll get everything cleaned up and uh, go from there. So I'll show you how to knock that out on the other side here right quick. And the seal should be up inside here as well. There should be a seal in there somewhere. It may just be the gasket. Yeah, there's the lip seal right there. It's right there in the... Right there. So anyway, I've got a tool. I can knock that out real quick. So I definitely need to put more stuff. Okay, so I got all the threads cleaned off. And I uh, got the... Uh, soaked down the nuts with WD-40. And I'm just going to use my little quarter-inch uh, impact drive with a... 916 socket and I'll just get in there and I'll give them a little uh, burp get them all kind of well that one's coming right. so they're not really rusted they're just really dry <clears throat> sometimes you don't want to just get on it and, and run them all the way out you want to run them back and forth a little bit and kind of cut the new cut the dirt and the rust out of the thread so these aren't really that bad so there's uh one more here I always like to run them in, run them out, run them in, run them out, and <clears throat> just come out a little bit further each time. And you can tell by the tightness, and um, that way you're not taking any chance of uh, stripping the thread. So I'm going to do two more here, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I got all the nuts off here. I should have should have held off on this uh, wheel cylinder, starting to get in my way a little bit, but that's all right. So if you can see in here. Let me move this around just a little bit more. Get this out of the way. Get a light. So you can see what I'm dealing with here. There's the four uh, bolts. There's two on each side and then this cover. There's a gasket behind this cover. 
so now I want to get this cover started loose and then behind that is the seal bearing and behind that's the seal and I'll just take a, a wood block and pop it so I'm gonna keep uh, working around on this a little bit and get it loose okay so I got this uh, cover bearing cover cap dust cover whatever you want to call it I got it loose here so that's all good and loose in there so now I should be able to just force that uh, axle shaft out of there I might have to hit it with a hammer so let's uh, let's give it a try here and see what happens uh, I got a, just a wood stake that I use for um, taking out concrete forms and stuff like that. So let's, let's see what we get here. Okay. So. Okay, it's starting to come out. I got my wheel cylinder out. I'll put that down here in the bucket with the bolts so I don't lose the bolts. So now you can kind of see that it's coming out. <clears throat> the other side was kind of finicky like this too. Okay. So now that's out. You can see the dust cover now. And it looks like a sealed bearing because the seal's behind it, so it's got to be a sealed bearing, sealed for life of the bearing. So it it feels pretty good, but I would imagine that grease is probably dry after fifty some years of uh, fifty four years of service. So I, I think I'm going to have to replace them uh, along with the inner seal. So we're almost got this thing apart, and you can kind of see here that the. Uh, you look inside the housing, you can see the seal in there. The light, right? There you go. So there's the seal. So I can knock the seals out and take the differential carrier out and along with the pinion and uh, we'll be moving on. We'll get it all tore down to parade rest and we'll uh, get it all cleaned up. I had to change my uh, from my single jaw to a double jaw puller with two hooks on it. So, but this all was in the kit I bought uh, several years ago. Now the problem I ran into was I had to keep the jaws spread out inside there. And uh, I had a uh, screwdriver here, a little wooden handle screwdriver. And I just kind of held everything up center. I got that little screwdriver in there like that and that kind of held everything in there and I just popped it until it came out like that so pretty handy uh, let's see if I can get this broke loose with just an impact This Ryobi, I've got a bunch of Ryobi tools just because they're cheap and uh, they had this uh, impact uh, wrench, half inch drive. Uh, I tell you what, it's been a godsend. Uh, I paid $111 for it online from Home Depot. Uh, it was cheaper than buying it in the store and it came with a, a battery and a charger and everything, a heavy battery. Um, I converted all my other uh, blue Ryobi tools to um, the lithium batteries here a couple of years ago because the batteries, um, the original batteries, were, they're not making them anymore. So anyway, good investment. Okay, so uh, four bolts here and now the two bearing carriers. So the race. 
and the adjustment screw and I'm I need to read up on these I'm not quite sure how those are supposed to set the, the bearing tightness so I'll have to do some reading up on those when we go back to assembly so you got the bearings on each side you know they're pretty loose but these these bearings aren't too bad here really um, but if I want to buy the kit I might as well get them all and then um, uh, I got to get the uh, pinion out so we can uh, inspect it and the bearing for it. So it's all loose, so it should come right out. There we go. So there's the pinion, pinion bearing, sleeve, and uh, shaft and everything. And really, initial inspection here, they look pretty good, but I need to get everything cleaned up. So uh, get you in a little closer here. You can see all that sludge in there. Anyway, that sludge is pretty bad in there. That's just freaking dirt and grimy shit after 54 years of being in there. So I'll get all that out of there. Okay, so I'm about as disassembled as I can get until I get the... Uh, Get the kit ordered and uh, get it in here. Uh, I've got several hours of cleaning to do here. Uh, I'm going to use paint thinner here and cut through the top of it, and then I'll get some uh, some kind of a degreaser and uh, just get after it. There's grease on the inside, of course, and there's, there's just as much on the outside too. And I think some of the grease I had on the outside of it was uh, um, was some of the transmission was leaking too. I'm throwing back this way to the rear axle, but uh, that grease on the top of this thing and the bottom was uh, almost a quarter inch thick. I mean, it, it was unbelievable how uh, how much grease and dirt was on here. So um, I've still got to break down the, uh, the center section here and uh, get inside and do an inspection on it and clean it all up. Um, but the teeth, I mean, the teeth look pretty good. So I think I could probably just reuse this. I don't see any reason why I couldn't. And uh, same with the, the pinion. It, I mean, I don't really see anything unless I get it cleaned up uh, and find something like during the cleaning process. I'll let you know. But uh, right now... I think my plans are is I'll replace, uh, I'll get that bearing kit, uh, see what all comes with it, and uh, I'll start the assembly. So I'll show you how to how to get them bearings off, um, and I'll show you how to, to put everything back together except for probably the brakes. So anyway, we'll see where this goes. Um, appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll talk at you next time.